what is up everybody welcome back to the channel you guys on in this video i'm going to simply be on with one of my clients a real estate agent crushing it in austin texas um, been building her business forever offline um, traditional advertising traditional marketing now i'm teaching her how to run facebook ads target her local area offer something of value for free um, which is a actual seller guide whatever business you guys are in think of that one offer whether it's a free coupon whether it's a free download um, whether it's watching a free training video a webinar whatever there has to be something of value something enticing that makes an audience want to raise their hand click and enter their name and email. And in her case, it's a seller guide. So she's running Facebook ads, targeting her local area, looking for people who want to sell their house. And all she's simply doing is educating them with her posts and videos, and then getting them to click learn more to download her free PDF. It's that simple. So in this video, I'm going to simply be walking her how to run a traffic ad to retarget previous engagers, people who have watched previous videos of hers, or people who have clicked and landed on her opt-in page but haven't opted in. So we're gonna simply retarget some, some custom audiences and I'll walk you guys through how to do that, okay? So hold on one second, let me grab Christine. Yeah, I'm opening a new tab. Yeah. And I'm gonna go to- Yeah, there's the recent post. So we post on the business page and then yeah, then we come to the ads manager and we'll just simply run that. You ad. know what it's doing? It's telling me I need to switch back. Yeah, that's fine. We're going to go to the ads manager anyway. So just go to your bookmarks, go to ads manager and just pull it up from there. Okay. Awesome. Perfect. So let's just go ahead and click on the green one and we're going to do traffic. Oh, this is where we got stuck before. And I okay. So 99% of the time you're going to be doing conversions. Let me explain this part real quick because this is this is the most important. This is where everyone gets it wrong because they choose the wrong objective. 99% um, of the time you're going with conversions. That's to capture leads. That's that's when you're mm -hmm. running a, an ad to a, to a new audience. Maybe it, it's the same local audience, but it's a new ad. Um, and you're not retargeting anyone. So so conversions is when you're not retargeting traffic is when you're retargeting okay so any previous engagers any okay. anyone who's watched previous videos 25 percent of, of your intro video for example or anyone who has landed on your opt-in uh -huh. page but hasn't opted in that's traffic so as we're building okay. up these audiences now let's throw out a traffic ad and see if we can get any any activity so traffic and then scroll down and then um go ahead and hit that drop down at the bottom Right there, no, above the continue. That yeah, right there. Go ahead and name everything right now. It's easier just to give every 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 uh, step a name. So campaign, you can name it image, right? Image next to the for sale sign, or image next to my listing, or whatever. Like whatever is going to make help you know what ad that is, right? Image. Um, okay. Yep, my sign. Perfect. My and sign. then in parentheses, put traffic. So in parentheses, I'll, I'll always, you know, name the actual objective that I'm running. So traffic, perfect. Oh, and then the yeah, ad set, conversion or traffic. yeah, the other one's conversion. So traffic and then the ad set name, you can just name the city, like whatever city we're targeting. Um, actually, we're, we're going to be retargeting. So, so while you, in the ad set, just put retargeting, retargeting, retargeting. Yeah, you could just retargeting. Perfect. And then, um, and then the ad, it could be the same as the top image. It's the image. Yeah. Just image my sign. Okay, cool. And then hit continue. Perfect. Okay. So that's choosing the objective, giving everything a title. Now we come into this first step. This is where we go special ad category. So go ahead and hit the drop down, and, and go with housing. Oh, yeah. And then we'll scroll down. And that's it. And that's it. Just make sure the bottom one is turned off. So this over here, campaign budget optimization, always leave that one off. Yeah, that one right there, down. Off. Okay, okay cool. So hit next. And that's it. So that's it. That's choosing the objective. That's um, going with housing. And, and that's it. That's step one. So over here, now what we want to do is... Again, on previous ads, we ran conversions, and that's when you would scroll down and you would choose your conversion event. In this one, all you're going to do is scroll down 
and just make sure we have the right pixel. So go ahead and scroll down. So we got the budget. Okay, so so the pixel's not even showing here. That's fine. Perfect. Okay, so now we just go ahead and, and change out that daily budget. Go to go to lifetime. Yeah, hit the drop down and go to lifetime budget. And then just change that 20 bucks to 10 or 15 or whatever. Okay. But change out that number, change out the date. Um yeah, what number am I putting in here if it's lifetime? Well, just let's let's run this for a few days. Let's run this for I mean, let's run it. Go ahead and just set set um just put put um let's see. I want to be at ten dollars a day and I want to run it for at least a week. So yeah, put 70, put 70. And then we'll we'll review it in four days anyways. So okay. Yeah, put 70. Um, and then start for tomorrow. So tomorrow, 6 a.m. It's always the next day at 6 a.m. 13th, yeah. Okay. Okay. And then should I put an end date then? Uh, yeah, but April 13th. Always make sure those, because as you're messing around with it, Facebook will always change. They'll always mess around and change the date or they'll okay. move that 70 back to 500. Like always, always double check after you click. But really? Yeah. Facebook yeah. does that? Well, look, it, they moved it back to the 12th. Yeah, they did. Yeah, I, okay. I see that all well, the time. They made May. Yeah, and they stretch it out. So it's like, yeah, you got to always double check. April, so the 13th. One, two, three, well, 13th four. to the 20th. Yeah, we can just go 13th to the 20th. Oh, that's right. We were going to do seven days. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then 6 a.m. end date, end time. Oh, changes everything. Okay. Okay, good. That's we should good. be good. Okay, perfect. So scroll down then. Um, and then now the custom audiences. So scroll down. This is, again, traffic. Traffic is when we're retargeting previous audiences. So scroll up. We need to go up to the custom audience. So right there custom audiences so okay. click inside the box and then just look for your custom audiences click on custom audiences right there in the middle custom audiences and so now what we'll do is we'll retarget the 25 percent the spring selling season we'll retarget um page visitors and then we'll retarget intro video wait where's page visitors Hold page on. visitors right there seller guide page visitors only down right there oh. and, and then the intro video 25 percent okay perfect and that's it and then what you'll always always want to do is click on exclude and you're going to exclude your leads it doesn't matter if only one lead came in you still want to exclude that that audience so click inside the box and then just exclude your leads I would, right. I would, yep. I would also exclude appointments, but I don't know if you've had any appointments on this calendar. So, Not that I know of. No. yeah. In would the future, I no. as you start to get appointments, it's it's you're, those are the two that you'll you'll always exclude, um, okay. leads and appointments. Okay. Right. Always remember you you exclude those two. So okay. that's who we're retargeting is is that now when it comes down to go ahead and go ahead and scroll down. When it comes down to the location, wait, wait, I want to see here. So we're including the intro vi visit, intro video, and spring selling season update, mm -hmm. but we're excluding any seller guide leads. Okay. Yep. So now, in, uh, go ahead and the language. Go ahead and change that to English. So languages edit. No, just the languages. That's what I thought I had. Doesn't it usually bring up something? No, you have to type it in. Type in English. There you go. Okay. Okay. So, so we'll leave everything the same, and then scroll back up real quick. Let's go to the um, to the actual. Actually, I'm sorry, it's down. Go to the actual map. So a little lower. Oh, where's your um? Let's see. Okay. So let's just edit that one. And when it comes to retargeting previous audiences the location is all you need to put in normally it's not even the age it's not even the gender in housing we went special ad category we have to hit the drop yeah. down choose housing
because of your special ad category, you can't change age or gender anyways. But if right. you're not this industry and in someone, you know, a completely different industry, then you can change the age and gender. But when you're retargeting, you don't need to change any of that. The only thing you need to need to need to include is the location. Okay. So when you're retargeting a previous audience, just include the location and, and you're fine. So there's that location that we continue to hit. And that's where the majority of that audience is. They should be. They should all be in that area. Yes. I think I should change that. Whatever you, whatever you did before, like stay the same. I don't remember. Was I think 15? it was that. I think it was 15 miles. And that's why putting that in the title is always important because again, mm -hmm. these are things you want to be able to know. These are things you want to be able to look at the dashboard yeah. and see right away and see, and you're going to look at it the, on the dashboard and just look at the title. Right. So if it, if so it should I change that, this so we know? Yeah. At the very, very top. Yeah. You want to start being very specific with these titles because it's just I'm just going to gonna say um, Farmer 15 Miles. That's that back bit. Perfect. Okay, okay, cool. So we're good there. We're good there. Automatic. Go ahead and leave it there and then scroll down and that's it. So that's step two. Changing the budget, changing the location, adding your audiences, excluding your audiences. That's step mm -hmm. two. That's it simple so now hit next and we go to the last and final step okay so now over here all we're going to do is just make sure see so your ad won't run on instagram because the selected instagram account is private connect to public account or select a facebook page to represent your business that's fine this one's not going to go on instagram anyways because of the image the image isn't isn't the dimensions it's not the right image so it won't go there anyways so okay. you're fine. So on the ad setup, hit create ad and just go use existing post. Yep, use existing post. Okay, perfect. And then just find, just hit select post right there and just find that post. Select post to the left. Oh. Yeah, I don't know why it has it there and you can't even click on yeah. it. It's very weird. Okay, so. No, it's this one. Perfect, so that's the one right there. We're going to click on that, hit continue, and then um, all we need to do now is add that button. So add the call to action button. So click on that, and then just add your Karcher link right there. So we're going to website URL. You can leave the learn more. Just put your link okay. in right there for the opt-in page. And that's the right for the um, call to action, right? Yep. So we'll just grab your link over here, the opt-in. Where is it? Paste it in right to the very, very bottom, opt-in. Okay, cool. So like there were two people who um, said that they looked at my, um, at my ad. And so how do I know if they're actually going through the sequence? What do you mean going through the sequence? Going through the full well, I mean, opt-in? They, they opt, I guess they opted in, right? If it's on my leads page. Yeah. If it's on your leads inside of Kartra, then yeah, they, they would have opted in for sure. So are they going through the different email sequence now? Um, yeah, you can actually track that. I'll show you how to track that okay. um, in, and your, I need in your analytics. If I need more. Probably need to do more. Oh, okay, you need I'm to gonna... do 50 more. You need to do oh, 55 God. more. Yeah, of course. Oh. That, yeah, the email sequences, that, that's what you should be working on every week. Like you should put aside an hour a week to add more to the sequence. If you got six now, okay, well then one hour a week, we're going to add six more. Oh, I don't even think I have six. Okay. Yeah, I like you, do... that, you want that thing to go on forever. But the, the, the thing about email sequences, you want the content to be evergreen. Like you want the content to be, to be relevant with current, you know, times, like you don't right. want to talk about something that's super old news. You know what I mean? Okay. So whatever the email sequences and in your business, talking about selling talking about buying, I mean, it, it's, it's evergreen. So it's not right. anything that's outdated ever anyways. So just keep that in mind. You don't want to talk about a certain situation that may have happened, you know, a year ago and 
now this person's on email number 19 and it's irrelevant to them. You know what I mean? Right. Okay. So, but yeah, that's something you want to continue to work well, on your sequence. Yeah. My sequences are so much about a seller's market right now. Cause that's what it mm -hmm, is. Mm -hmm. so yeah. Yeah. Probably not going to be evergreen. You know, I don't think I assume that well, at some point it's going to change. Uh, you can go on with that, with that, um, um, storyline mm -hmm. for a long time. Yeah. I mean, no one, you gotta, you gotta also keep in mind that no one knows more about this industry than you do. Like these people that are getting, that are on your list, they're just average consumers. They're not real estate professionals. Mm -hmm. So most don't even know what market we're in, like at all, like at all, at all. Like okay. I hardly even know what market we're in. Are we in a buyer's market, a seller's market? Like I hardly even know. So it's like the average, my mom has no clue. Right. Yeah. So if my mom was on your list. She'd be getting this information from you thinking that it's whatever you're telling her. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, thanks. Seriously. Like you, you gotta always yeah. keep that in mind. You know more about this stuff than everybody. So right. yeah, don't worry about that part. So, okay. so you're fine here. So we got, that's the only part hit that drop down the red triangle. Let's just see if there's a different account that we can just choose. If not, no big deal. Yeah. Just hit you selected page. Yeah. That one. Perfect. Okay, cool. So that's good. Okay, so we'll scroll down and that is it. So on a traff on a on an image ad, um, you can't you can't edit that title, which is right below your image to the left of the learn more right. button. Right. Yeah, I guess I guess you can't on a on a on an image post. And that's fine. That's fine. That that there's your company name at the bottom. Yeah, it says it up on the top. Yeah. So, so now let's hit publish and then we'll take a look at what it looks like in the news feed. So we'll publish it and then right when it's done publishing, we'll hit that drop down right above the images to the to the right of more of view more variations. You see above the images here, you have yeah. view more variations to the right of that. Yeah. And then let's just take a look at it in the in the news feed. So Facebook desktop news feed, view on. Facebook. Yeah. Facebook desktop newsfeed. So we'll click that one and then we'll just scroll through and just see what that post looks like. This is, oh, there we go. Looks good. See, look at that. That's, this is what it's all about. Christine is you like showing you branding the hell out of you. Every mm -hmm. agent wants to post just the freaking house, like an image of a house. It's like, dude, I've seen a million houses. You have to separate yourself. You have to stand out. And, and your face is what makes you stand out, right? Any 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 of us. It's us. Right. It's that personal touch. So that right there is amazing. So okay. let's run this and then let's chat in four days. Let's chat in four days to review the numbers. And go back to the ads manager real quick. There's going to be different numbers that we're now looking at when it comes to a traffic campaign. So let's X out of this to the left, not the tab. The X to the left right there. Perfect. So now over here, we'll be looking at different numbers. We'll let it run first, but go ahead and click the one selected, one selected, one selected, X out of those real quick. One selected, one selected, one selected, the blue. Yeah, X out, X out, X out. So now when it comes to traffic, so click on the middle on the first tab campaigns. Yeah, click on that one. And then um, and then go ahead and, and scroll to the right. Take that bar and move it to the right. Yeah, let's just, we got results, we got reach, we have impressions, we have amount spent. Now check the box to the left of the blue circle, the one that the one that we're just working on the traffic, the box to the left of the blue circle, the blue circle, oh. yeah, the box. And then click on the middle the middle tab, ad sets for one campaign, the, the ad set tab. Yeah, click on that one. So over here, we'll, we, have, um, we have cost per result which, which is what we'll, we'll, what we'll be looking at, the cost per result. But then also the, um, yeah, keep going to the right, scroll more to the right. Oh, I see. What we're gonna do is we're gonna, let's customize this column. So right there where it says view setup to the right of it, that view setup, that black dot to the right of that. Click on, yeah, oh. that one right there, hit that drop down. This is your, your, your column. So what we're gonna do is, is we customized one for the seller guide campaign, but let's do another one for traffic. So scroll down and we're gonna go to customize columns, customize columns. And then all we're gonna do over here is we're gonna, we're gonna take away some of the ones by default, which are to the right. Um, and we're gonna add our own. 
So let's to the very, very right, let's take out um, X out of last significant edit, La last significant edit, um, attribution setting, go ahead and get rid of that one. Um, let's go with, let's scroll down um, and the rest, the rest are fine. I guess, I guess we'll just, we can just leave the rest. So now to the left, let's go with, um, click on at the very, very top, click on page post. You have engagement and then paste post, page post, click on that. Okay. So, and then the, this is just giving you all the different metrics that we can literally track, but we're not, we don't need all of them. Maybe mm -hmm. click on clicks to the left. Clicks up right there. Clicks. Yeah. So link clicks. Let's let's check that box. Link clicks. We want to know how many how many clicks. That's a traffic campaign. So a traffic campaign is tracking, tracking how many people clicked. Like how many people clicked on the on on learn more um, to get to the landing page. And then okay. um, and then what we'll also want to do is is let's do um let's do let's do the ctr just the ctr click link click through rate yeah ctr and then scroll down and we're going to go to cost per link po cost per link click the cpc yeah cost per link click okay and then um and then let's go to let's go to let's go to custom conversions to the left and then let's let's click on yours right there, seller guide. You got total. Let's click on total to the right, the box total. And then and then go ahead and click on cost. Check the box for cost. Did total go away? Go ahead and try to click. Yeah, there we go. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now those are our. And then to the left, see if you could scroll down further. Anything else below to the left? No. Okay, cool. So now to the very, very right, let's take those ones and drag them up. So let's get the um, oh, the ones we just added. Yes. And let's just drag them up to the top. Perfect. And get rid of last significant edit. X out of last significant edit. X out of that one. Uh, we want to bring seller guide leads up. Yeah, let's bring that up. Okay, cool. Now to the very, very, what, what, what other one did we, um, I thought we put some others, but get rid of the quality ranking, engagement rate ranking, conversion rate ranking, get rid of those ones, those three. And then, um, it was the cost per result. Is that the one that we, I think we, um, I have seller guide leads, cost per seller guide leads. Cost per, we also had some others we had, but they're not in here. Yeah, to the right. Um, I think it was. We did check on like, here's seller guide leads. Click okay. on clicks to the left, clicks to the left. So we had over here, we had the. Um, there we go. We had results, reach, impressions, delivery, amount spent. Here's some Actually, those spent. are. Those are ones that are already, those are already okay. checked, but um, we had also the CP. Cost per result. Do the cost per 1000 people read or the cost per 1000 impressions, do the CPM. Yeah, do the CPM. Okay, and then move that one up. Okay, cool. So, so we got the CPM, the seller guide leads, the cost per seller guide leads. And then we were also tracking another click, click on clicks to the left. And then, and then scroll. Cause we, we also checked on link clicks, right? We, we went with link click, click on, click on uh, link clicks. CTR too? Yeah. You can click on that one and the CTR. Yeah, I thought we did. And then just move those ones up to the right. Yeah. See, so now that we're running traffic, it's all about the click. It's all about the click. It's all about the cost per click, the click through rate, um, how many clicks, the cost per 1000 impressions. Like these are now the metrics that start to matter when it comes to a traffic campaign. Um, knowing what it's costing per, per, per click, 
you know, so. so what is the objective of this campaign? What's is that? to get to what is the objective of the traffic campaign? To get people to to get people to opt in. That's the objective. The objective doesn't change. It's just the strategy. Okay. So now we're we're running traffic to retarget pre people who've already engaged before, okay. versus the okay. other one we're running conversions, just to get people to convert right away. People that haven't even seen us before. Okay. You know that's 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 when you're going after you know an audience that that hasn't engaged and now they're just you're running conversions to get them to opt in. But if they don't opt in, then we retarget them with traffic. And that's what we're doing right now. Okay, so, good. so those are, those are fine right there. So go ahead and click on save as preset to the bottom left, save as preset, and then go to give it a name, give it a name, give it, um, give it seller guide, seller guide, traffic, seller guide, traffic campaign, seller guide, traffic. Yeah, you can name it that and then click apply. Okay, cool. So now, now as you're viewing everything, always make sure that you're in that, 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 um, that view. So if you click on the drop down next to view setup, the same drop down that we were in to the very, very right view setup, the drop down to the right of it, the black dot. So click on that. And then now you're okay. So you're already in that. So these are the two that you want to view your metrics in. In, in the seller guide campaign or the or the traffic campaign. So in this case, we can look at the traffic campaign. Um, so now if you get out of here and just move that bar, um, you should see your new metrics. So move that over. Let's see, move it to the left. Okay, there we go. So, so we got our CPM, we got our link clicks, we got our seller guide leads, cost per seller guide leads, the, the, C through, the CTR rate, the click through rate, so now these are different metrics that we'll be viewing in a few days. Perfect. So let's chat in four days and we'll review those metrics together. Okay. Can you just show me what, um, where the one person or two people are on my, um, in the communications? Yeah, for sure. So any other questions on that traffic campaign or are the ad side of everything? I, I understand. I mean, I understand what we're doing, but okay. I don't, I, I would need help again to do it yeah, again. For I'm sure. sure. For sure. But yeah, no, I understand why we're doing it and awesome. what we're doing. Perfect.